right now which is in Hampshire so southwest of London about 45 minutes outside of the city that is where some of my family lives and just say life is great they've been taking the baby everywhere we've had time to relax and breathe and get some work done it's wonderful still a bit jet lag though yeah it's still working <laughs> on that um, yeah um, but man we're so excited we've got some really cool stuff planned um, for the time that we're here and as always we're gonna take you guys for the ride I had to plug that. I think that's gonna be our slogan. Take you for the ride, come yeah. for the ride, yeah. join us for the ride. Yes. So since we're here for a week, I think there's gonna be so much footage that it's not gonna be a short video. So, so I had an idea this morning. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal the show. No, you can steal the show. So we've been having this idea. We've been trying to find how we create more value for our Patreon supporters. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to create a lot of content from this trip. So we're going to make one YouTube video um, that we normally release every Wednesday, but we're also gonna take this epic content that we can't fit into one video, and we're going to create custom content for the Patreon viewers. Limited edition only for the Patreon people. Yeah, we're definitely plugging Patreon right now if you didn't already know. <laughs> you should meet the family. Hold on one second, let me go get them. Mama Bear, my stepdad, my biggest young sister, Valia, my next middle young sister, Bianca, little baby brother who's really quite grown up now, Luca, and Smudge, and Charlie. And the Kumquat Tree. It's part of the family, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Today, we're going to be going to a very special place here. Iconic symbol of Britain, a walk around the Stone Circle, is the centerpiece of any visit to Stonehenge, an Avery World Heritage Site. With history spanning 4,500 years, Stonehenge has many different meanings to people today. It is a wonder of the world, a spiritual place, and a source of inspiration. The Stone Circle is a masterpiece of engineering and building. It would have taken huge effort from hundreds of well-organized people using only simple tools and technologies. Wander around the Neolithic houses outside the visitor center. Step inside to imagine how people lived 4,500 years ago. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England. It consists of a ring of standing stones with each standing stone around 13 feet high, 7 feet wide, and weighing around 25 tons. Making a video. She uh, had a really big blowout. Entirely new outfit. On the train, five minutes before we have to get off. We've arrived at the Waterloo station and I have no idea where we're going next. We're going to uh, Camden Mulkey actually. North London is where Amy Winehouse had her place. Um, and we went before, but really early, and it was closed, so now I still owe him the trip. No idea how we're going to get there, but here we go. Oh, you make a oh, video, yeah? We made it, we made it, all right.
Camden Market. Um, I'll let Juby tell you a little bit about Camden Market because I don't know that much about it. Man, I don't really know that much about it. I know it was a bunch of horse stalls back in the day and they reconverted it to be a bunch of different like maker, creator, artisan products as well as like a little food market. Yeah, it's over by the locks um, where a bunch of barges and canals are so there's a lot of like trips that you can take along the river or the canal. Um, food and drink and shopping. So for us it's nice, you know, we baked in yesterday a little bit more of like a straight edge type of visit to Stonehenge, which was absolutely amazing. And then today is kind of nice because we get to take in a little bit more loose, unstructured, unscheduled type of adventuring. Yeah. So looking into some of the shops, getting a little bit of the gear, eating some food that might not be the best quality, but it's still yummy no. from these food stalls. It was yummy. Maybe we didn't choose the best thing, but it's normally really yummy. Yeah. Nonetheless, tonight we are headed um, on the tube to a friend of mine's house, and we're going to go hang out and visit with her. She's my maid of honor, Jemmy. And make curry as make well. Make curry and just hang out and see a couple of other girlfriends of mine. And sadly, all their men are not able to come, so it's going to be a woman. An estrogen party. <laughs> estrogen. <laughs> She killed it. It was so. I was so concerned because so many different people told me about, you know, oh God, that's going to be an interesting trip. It's going to be horrible. Like she's going to be screaming on the way up and on the way down. Not even in the slightest. Yeah, she only screams when you handed her to some random woman. Let's not talk about that. She wanted to relieve me from duty, and she also wanted to hold the baby. She was sitting like right beside us. Anyway, we won't go into that. But needless to say, she did amazing on the plane. So. I guess I just want to highlight that traveling with a baby or traveling with whatever whatever hurdle you think you may have it's not or that other people tell you may, you may have throw it out the window because there's always it's not always true um, whatever boundaries you may think you have I'm sorry I'm trying to go for an inspiration I moment. know, you know? I, I can't help it. You're smushing that banana hole. Is, 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 am I smashing it or am I smushing it? Smushing it. it. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, well, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Working on the inspirational times. Perfect. <clears throat> Welcome to Live Channel 5. Here. In the background. I pay attention. Okay, sorry. Um, okay. I want to go into the trip a little bit. I talked to so many <laughs> good. 
excuse me while I steal the video. Okay. So you have to show me the family, so. Well, no, I mean for this intro. Uh, well, can I just do the, let's do the family part and then we can get back to the intro part. No, I just want to get the intro out of the way. Wrangling your family is going to be like hurting cats. No, we're not going to wrangle the family. We're just going to say who they are. Shh, just uh, shh. I don't oh, understand. Oh, you're going to do the voiceover yeah. now? Yes. Yeah, go for it. So, um, here is my family. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey. Charles. Charlie. There you are. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what, what else did you want to talk about? I just okay. really feel like a news anchor right now. This feels great. I feel right at home. You want to give I feel like I should talk to people about the, about the weather and the news. Yeah, should we? So today there's 75 mile per hour winds. <laughs> it's a slight overcast with peaks of sunshine glimmering through these small spaces of cloud. We're going to tell you where we're going to go, but you have to wait for our intro. And to find there out. are no leaves, but if there were leaves, it would be a real Pocahontas moment. And they'd be like. This is how they do weather in the UK. Yeah. It's much different than the they US. They would, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually the bluebells are beginning to sprout and the bulbs have arisen. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is greener here on the other side, as they say, not like in the swamp. <laughs> we don't have grass in the swamp. I know, well actually it's growing. I think we're rambling at this point. No, this is a blooper roll. You want to round it out? Yeah, you can. We're going to take you to Stonehenge. Do we not want to do the road trip no, to not Stonehenge? Uh, no, I know. Until the Stonehenge pops up. I want to do some really epic up there. Like what? You can't stand on the Stonehenge. You know that, right? No, no, I'm not talking about that. You know, I'm just saying I want to integrate new. Alright, I'm pausing. 